Absolutely delighted now to be joined by Bob Schultz, who, as you know, is the President and CEO of uh, ICMARC. Bob, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. Nice to see you again. Yeah, this is our fourth year together, I think. <laughs> Lovely to be here in rainy Baltimore. <laughs> rainy Baltimore, yeah. yeah. But there's a football game, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Bob, busy year for uh, ICMARC. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, one of the things I'd like to mention is uh, what we're doing with our investment platform. You know, we have a great series of funds that really performed well over the last 10 years. And we decided recently to decouple our investment program from our plant administration program and distribute it separately. Okay. And we've had a lot of demand where consultants and plant sponsors have come to us and said, even though we're not using your plant administration services, we'd like to be able to invest in your funds. And up until recently, we said, no, it's a, it's a bundled deal. So we've, we've unpacked it, we've unbundled it. And um, uh, we are getting ourselves placed on various investment platforms where people could just buy okay. into our funds separately, having nothing to do with our uh, plant administration services. And we've, we've achieved what they call GIPS compliance, it's the global um, uh, investment performance standards, uh, where you have a third party audit firm come in and review all your performance numbers for the last 10 years and certify it. Uh, we've done that. Uh, we've got a uh, uh, a portal that we've built on our website for consultants who are uh, experts in investments to uh, review our funds. Right. Um, and uh, uh, we, we think we're going to be pretty successful with that. So. Another thing you're getting into is uh, 403B. Yeah. Talk, talk yeah. us through that. Yeah, 403B program is a uh, retirement program that's exclusive for uh, teachers, uh, hospital employees, uh, higher ed uh, college and university employees. and we think we can really bring some improved outcomes to that market, especially the K through 12 market. We think teachers nowadays have really been underserved uh, by their fourth review plan. They tend to be saddled with very expensive investment options, high expense ratios, and a dearth of, uh, of, of real um, objective uh, services. Uh, it's generally served by commission sales agents. So we think our model, where we don't use commission sales agents, uh, where we have much lower price funds uh, available, uh, we think if we can offer that to school divisions and to K through 12 teachers, uh, we think we can really improve outcomes there. So uh, we're beginning to hire a staff now, uh, we're building out that platform, and we're responding to RFPs. So one of the other things I think you're doing is uh, expanding, extending your <laughs> advice uh, capabilities. Tell us, tell us uh, why you're doing that and how yes. that's coming about. We, we think a uh, good objective Investment advice is really sorely needed uh, in our uh, in our world here. Um, employers have asked us to do what we can to slow down what's called the rollover uh, industry. Rollovers are when somebody gets near retirement, they have built up a balance over 30 years, and then they're um, uh, induced by, let's say, a local brokerage firm or retail brokerage firm to roll their money out into a high fee IRA right. platform and uh, employers are concerned that uh, some of these brokerage firms are really preying on their employees uh, and not delivering um, uh, services that are in their best interest. So they've asked us to try to do something about that and our answer to that problem uh, is to, our, to, to make sure that we have people who are trained properly and credentialed properly to provide investment advice uh, and to become the trusted advisor well before they get close to retirement so that when they are ready to retire uh, and they get overtures from all these retail uh, uh, firms, they can say, you know what, I already have a really great investment advisor, I'm gonna stick with him. Okay. Um, that's, where, that's where we're going with the investment advice. Now, Bob, I have to say, I do have a bone to pick. Yeah. So where's the realized retirement uh, you know, tour bus this I year? think it's somewhere in New York State uh, <laughs> right now. Um, um, it's not available for the conference uh, this year. You know, you know, we had it last year at sure. our exhibit booth, and. Uh, last year it was in the format of escape room and yeah. uh, we are rebuilding the truck and replacing it with a new one. Uh, we're rolling in a new truck, it's going to be called the Time Machine. Oh wow. Yeah. And the purpose of the Time Machine is to use electronics and augmented reality to kind of demonstrate the power of compounding. Right. Uh, but also the ravages of inflation. Sure. And so gives them an idea what things may cost 20 or 30 years from now, but also how much the earnings can grow 20 or 30 years from now if they get started early. Um, so we're going to have that next year. Yeah, but we do have a booth okay. uh, that will show some aspects of what's in the time machine. Uh, so if people visit our booth, uh, they'll be able to experience the goggles and they'll be able to see what's going on. <laughs>
plenty going on at uh, ICMA uh, RC. Is there anything else that uh, you know that you want to draw our attention to? Well, the only thing I would draw attention to right now, this is the time of year uh, in October where we have National Retirement Savings Week, and that sure. begins October 21st uh, through October 27th. And we always participate with that program and um, and, um, uh, and 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 provide support for that program. Uh, we want people to, the, you know, the theme is to try to get engaged and really to participate uh, in your retirement sure. program. Again, to take advantage of the power of compounding. So we're promoting that heavily um, and, uh, and asking our employers to do the same thing. So. Well, thanks ever so much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Steve. I hope you have a great conference. Uh, okay, we'll see you next year. <laughs> thanks, <bro. laughs>